common teasel is a terrestrial weed native to Europe, temperate Asia, and Northern Africa. It was likely introduced to North America as a contaminant in the seed of cultivated teasel, which was intentionally grown in the pre-industrial era for use in carding wool fibers. Both teasels continue to be sold as ornamentals and in birdseed mixtures. Common teasel has been reported throughout much of North America, but is especially problematic in the West. Common teasel grows best in full sun and in poorly drained soils, especially in areas prone to flooding. It is often found in moderately disturbed locations in grasslands, wetlands, lake borders, ditch banks, agricultural fields, roadsides, and open forests. But it is also capable of invading healthy perennial grass communities in moist areas. It can tolerate elevated salinity levels compared to other roadside plant species. This weed is an aggressive competitor in the western United States, forming dense stands that exclude native species. Dead stalks and leaves can persist for one year or more, shading out native or more desirable plant species. Mature plants are too prickly and bitter to be eaten by most wildlife and livestock and can create impenetrable thickets. Common teasel is an herbaceous biennial or short-lived perennial. Germination occurs from spring through fall and plants quickly develop stout taproots. Plants typically remain as rosettes for one or more years. Rosette leaves are lance-shaped and up to 12 inches long. They're wrinkled in appearance, have rounded teeth along their margins, are bright green with a thick white midvein, and have stiff prickles, especially on the underside of the midvein. Plants usually bolt in spring of the second year or later, with stems growing up to seven feet tall. Plant stems are hairless, grooved, and have sharp prickles. Stem leaves are opposite and similar to rosette leaves, but grow smaller up the stem and often lack teeth along the margins. The paired opposite leaves form cups where they clasp the stem, sometimes collecting water a few inches deep. These cups sometimes trap and drown insects, which has been shown to increase seed set and seed mass. In midsummer, plants form cylindrical seed heads up to four inches long, singly at the tips of stems and branches. Each seed head consists of 250 to 1500 tiny flowers that don't bloom all at once, but rather bloom in a series of rings around the seed head. Each tiny flower is tubular with four purplish lobes and only blooms for a day. At the base of each flower is a flexible, spine-like bract that is straight or only slightly curved. Beneath the seed heads are very long, narrow, prickly, upward curving bracts that often extend longer than the seed head. Each seed head produces hundreds of ribbed, conical seeds that largely drop to the ground around the parent plant, but some are carried long distances by adjacent water bodies. Seeds may remain viable for over two years. Plants die after setting seed, and dried seed heads may persist on dead stems for one to several years. The combination of large conical seed heads, narrow subtending bracts, opposite leaves, and prickly stems is unique and helps differentiate teasels from unrelated species throughout North America. There are currently three teasel species established in North America, of which common teasel is the most common in the West. Cutleaf teasel differs in that its flowers are white and its leaves are very deeply lobed. Cultivated teasel is more similar to common teasel. It differs in that cultivated teasel flowers are usually white instead of purple. Its floral bracts are stiff and curved down at the tip instead of being flexible and mostly straight, and the bracts beneath its seed heads are more spreading and reflexed rather than upward curving.